Hey everybody, it's Disney Crazy Family here. As promised, I said I would show you my Nightmare Before Christmas collection. It is one of my favorite collections and one of my favorite things to collect in all of Disney. So uh, yeah, let's get started. So this board is a little bigger. Um, I'll be able to take a big picture of it at the end. What I wanted to show you up here is the top left with all of our tarot cards. These are really cool. The top row is lounge fly. We have the gold set and the colored set from 2020. Both of those are from 2020. The gold set was originally introduced on Crack and Trade, and the colored set is a Hot Topic exclusive. Going down, we have the Disney Parks official tarot cards. Um, I don't know why they're two different shades of green, but this set apparently has uh, two different shades. Uh, very unique. If you remember this middle one, the ace with a uh, barrel on it, I actually have three of those because I mistakenly traded for a couple of those at the Austin pin event that we went to. I will link that somewhere in this video. The next one going down, we have this awesome open hinge pin of Jack and Santa Claus. It is the 10 year anniversary of the movie, which is really cool. This is a limited edition pin. And for all the limited edition pins in this video, I will make sure to write the edition size somewhere close when editing. The pins from that set, but not the entire set. If anybody has those for trade, I would love to try to get a uh, trade going to complete that set. We have some lounge fly pins. Huge fan of the Jack Tsum Tsum pin. It's probably one of my favorites. This one's neat because it has a spinning element. That is an LE5000 pin from last year's holiday season. Some of these do glow in the dark, like this oogie boogie one. That's pretty neat. And I'll show you a close up uh, once it gets later in the day so I can show you which ones glow and which ones do not. Ooh, this one's really cool. This Dr. Finkelstein pin is from a series of limited edition pins. I think this came out in 2008 or 2010. I will look it up and put it down there on the wood for you to make sure. I believe it's LE1000, but um, this one, all of the uh, typography up here is actually glow in the dark. So that is really cool. I love this set and Dr. Finkelstein is one of my favorite characters from The Nightmare Before Christmas. So I was really happy to get that. I think it was from our second trip out to Disneyland. This lounge fly pin also glows in the dark. I believe it is the chaser for the second Hot Topic 
Nightmare Before Christmas series blind box. Ooh, this pretty pin is from a monthly series that came out a couple years ago. I actually um, was fortunate enough to trade for this pin. I didn't know that I was going to be trading for it at the time because it was a mystery pin in one of, I think it was the largest pin trade that we had ever done earlier this year. Unfortunately, uh, we did not have this channel up and going yet, so we did not film that particular trade exchange, but um, I can tell you what pins we did receive if that is something that you are interested in. We ended up trading with somebody who is a stitch lover and we did have a ton of stitch pins that we were able to trade with her. This jack pin is from last year's Christmas season. And this one does move um, up and down. This one's really cute. I like him. I like his Santa Jack suit. This one's a lenticular wreath from, I believe, Hot Topic, if I'm not mistaken. And then we go up here to the corner. I'm still missing that zero stamp, so if anybody has that one, I would love to trade for that. And then last year's puzzle set from Loungefly. Yeah, they don't really fit together for me, so um, this is the best I could do. This is from a 10 or 12 pin set. It's kind of older. So basically um, you have pieces that create a roulette wheel from Oogie Boogie's lair. And I think that's really cool because I think it was part of an Oogie Boogie bash if I can remember correctly. I would like to get all of the pieces one day. So if anybody has those, let me know on our Instagram or down in the comments. I'd love to try to trade. This was, I think, the first backpack set that we completed. This was a Loungefly set. Um, originally, we saw these at Hot Topic, I believe. And Oogie Boogie is actually the chaser. He glows in the dark. So that is a very interesting uh, element that they had. And then one of my favorite pins in this collection is the DSSH limited edition of, I think, 300 pin on pin design of Oogie Boogie. Look how pretty the glitter is. Oogie Boogie is made out of bugs and the element here to the right in that uh, dark brown element are bugs in glitter. This is really, really, really pretty. This one doesn't glow in the dark, but I think that's okay for this pen. Okay, we have some of these jumbo pins that did not fit on the Nightmare Before Christmas board. This one's pretty cool. It is a limited edition. I cannot remember the size right now, but I will look it up for y'all. And it is a element pin. So the two elements we have are that the uh, arms or the hands for the clock move and this is a countdown to Halloween pin. So these two numbers actually move if we're able to take it out and that is pretty cool. I don't think we've ever tried to do a countdown with that pin before but I think it's a nice element. The next one is this 25th anniversary jumbo pin of Jack and all of the characters from Halloween Town. 
That one is pretty awesome. If you guys have seen our um, halfway to Halloween pin tag, this pin will definitely look familiar to you. It's very, very nice. I think Oogie glows, but I didn't show that in the previous video, which we will link somewhere in this video. And as promised, I said that I would show y'all some of the pins I did not include in our Halloween board that did not fit. And this is one of the collections. This is the Villains Portraits from 2019. This is the complete set with Ursula down there on the bottom left as the completer pin for the set. All of the other four pins, which include Maleficent, Scar, Jafar, and Captain Hook, were actually open uh, brack pins. They were still limited, but the, you could get them without having to buy the set. So that's pretty neat. I'll show you what they look like with the open portrait here. And those are all really nice. I think they're all LE 400, uh, 4000, excuse me. And then we have this pin of the Mickey and the Gang, the Fab Five, uh, from 2005. It's actually a really big pin. Um, it has a couple of different elements to it. So once I took the cover off, this is the LE 1000 pin. It is a jumbo pin, so these are just a glow, and the spider over here is a dangler element. The legs move, and the spider itself moves, so that is really cool. I think it's probably one of my favorite pieces of the DNA and the dangler. That's really, really awesome. Okay, folks, this is the other Nightmare Before Christmas pin. I forgot it because it is in a case that my mom, the other half of this channel, uh, specifically picked out. Technically I like NVC, but she likes, she likes a couple of them. I mean, yeah, she likes a couple of them. She likes what she likes, okay? We all like what we like. So this is a hinge pin. It is very cute. The front has a lot of glitter. This uh, mirrored effect in here, and then this nice steel or chrome design with Oogie, Jack, the mayor, and the three kids, or Oogie's boys, within the design. So that's pretty cool. I like it a lot. Okay, for certain, this is the last uh, Disney pin that we have that is from the parks. We have some other uh, Nightmare Before Christmas pins you've seen on this channel that are fig pins, um, such as the one that Ashley from Ashley's Wonderland gave us in the lovely box swap that we did earlier this year in August. I'll link that over here as well. If you haven't seen that, you should go check it out. Ashley is a lovely, lovely person who also collects Nightmare Before Christmas, so fan of that. Um, this is a, another jumbo pin that is of the Haunted Mansion holiday um, crossover that Disneyland does every single year. This is from 2019. We are fortunate enough to be able to go for my birthday, which is at the beginning of November. It was super awesome. I don't like the Haunted Mansion normally, but this crossover was the best thing I have ever seen. It was fantastic. This is a large, large pin with some glitter elements. Jack is over there exploring Christmas. I'm sure you can hear him singing, what's this, as we speak. And uh, the killer reeds, those are fun. You know what, I wish Disney made more pins of that. That would be really cool. This is an LE of 3000. And uh, it's one of my favorites. The reason why it's not near the uh, Christmas board or the NBC board is because it never got put over there once I redid the boards. So, um, yeah, that's it. Remember, like, subscribe, leave a comment, and let me know what your favorite Disney pin of this video collection was your favorite. Are we twins on anything? Let me know. And uh, until next time, have a fantastic day, everybody.